Now, as COVID-19 cases continue to rise across the country, many people are finding themselves in need of testing. And we've got you covered there. For the second time in as many weeks, 17 News has teamed up with Kern Public Health to set up a no-cost testing event right outside our station. And that's where we find our Aton Wallace standing by with an update. How's it looking out there, Aton? Hey, Jim, good evening. It's been busy. It's busy right now. Been busy all day. We are at Compassion Corner at the intersection of 22nd and L Streets, right across the street from KGET. Now, I should tell you, we are keeping our distance from the tent behind me where the actual free testing is going on. That is so we ensure that we are keeping the privacy of the patients and making sure we respect that privacy. But this all began at 7 o'clock this morning, going until 6 o'clock this evening. Now, to give you an idea how busy it's been, I just spoke with an organizer back at the tent. She tells me that they actually stopped keeping track around two hours ago. Then it was roughly 300 people have come by to take a test. They're going to do a final uh, test, uh, excuse me, a final uh, track of all the people at the end of the day here at 6 o'clock. But joining me now live is the Kern County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce President and CEO Jay Tamsey. Mr. Tamsey, thanks for taking the time. Tell me, how has it been today and what's the process like to get a test? You know, it's been great. You know, we had one last Friday and we hit over uh, nearly 400 folks that got tested today, already 300. Um, it, the process is very, very easy. You go online and you register and you get a place in line. But I would say as of right now, just head on over here to the Compassion Corner at 22nd and Alstree in front of KGET and to be a walk-in. And all you do is um, they'll provide you with a kit and you'll do a self um, swab, a less invasive test and there'll be a medical staff assistant to assist you with that. So thank you so much for your partnership and as well as Kern County Public Health. All righty, Mr. Jay Tamsey, thank you so much for taking the time. Thanks for filling us in with that information. Very important, and I can attest to what Mr. Tamsey said. As you may remember, I actually took the test live on 17 News at 5 last Friday. I got my negative test results today, but it's very simple. All you need to do is show up here, you self-administer the test with a registered nurse right next to you telling you what to do, and that's it. So anybody willing to come by, just know you have until 6 o'clock this evening, and you should know as well that once you take the test, it should take roughly between three to five business days to get your results back. We're live downtown, Aton Wallace, 17 News.